Grassroots rallying is a sport that commands exorbitant amounts of commitment, drive, finesse and teamwork. This has been Brown and Glenn Gordon. They have travelled over 600 kilometres from Taranaki to take part in round four of the Rally Extreme series, Rally of the North in Paihia. Good morning, how are you? I'm very well, thank you. Very nice to meet you, man. Very nice to meet you, Chris. Very nice to meet you, Chris. Alright, uh, you've come all the way from Taranaki today. Uh, how was the trip up? Yeah, it was good. We've been up a few days, so I've been up a few days with the family, so yeah. nice and relaxing. And how was your trip up? Yeah, yeah easy. Outside, didn't you? Yeah, flew up. Yeah, due to work commitments, I still did a lot of recent training at say 2 o'clock. Yeah, quarter past five, I was standing in Kiri Kiri Airport and done it dusted. Yeah, nice and easy. Yeah, so. <laughs> How are you feeling about today? Yeah, no, good. We're just playing the game. We're just playing the game. starting on today and um, come up. Done on seems to be the tyre of, of, of choice today, it's just come down to sizing and um, yeah, wrong tyre choice. It'll, it'll, be, it'll be a steady 17 kilometres in the first stage, but then we should be able to get in further after that. What's the longest stage you're running today? Pages and notes, but yeah, you just keep your head down, keep your wits about you. The, um, the likes of the, 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 the um, rally safe sort of is less than the need for the terror truck, um, and just due to the GPS, the accuracy. If you do get lost in the notes, you've actually got an instant reading straight away, so you can get straight back into it. Okay. Well, I wish you both luck today. We really look forward to seeing you on the stage. Definitely, we'll catch up. Both in highly excited spirits. Ben and Glenn left the service park at 7.50am to start stage 1, 49th on the road. We left ourselves to watch them come through special stage 2. Hoyland is a classic Northland stage with rolling roller coaster camber in between some long straights. At 28.61 kilometres, it's also one of Rally Pie here's longest stages. Ben and Glenn were looking to find a good rhythm here after losing rubber and running on the rim for the last five kilometers to the end of stage one. Flag these guys down. Nice recovery from a low speed spin in a boggy section of stage. Ben and Glenn quickly had the car turned around and were back to race pace. Approaching the end of Hoyland, they struck a chord and found the good rhythm they were looking for. But danger lurks around every corner. Disaster. Seat to man, we're still going to put the seat to out. Have 
for them, them radiator runs are cooler. Mm. Hey, look at that. The door light decided to start working. <laughs> As did the demon dip beam. <coughs> oh, for there and wait. Sorry, man. You want to hop out this side? No. Nah. How far is it down there? Down there. Down there. Oh, no, there's just the bottom down there. Oh, is it? Yeah. There wasn't so much trees and undergrowth, you can almost drive out the other side. Yeah. No, we're not trying. Yeah, we're just trying to see now. Yeah. Right. We'll check the back whilst we're here. Alright. I'm going clockwise. Yep. Do you just want to hold your wheel? Hold it. Yeah, that's still trying to turn, isn't it? Oh, yeah, that feels fine. Feels fine. Just straight I'll come up your key then. How you doing? Hey. <laughs> so where did you find the problem? When did it start? Um we, we went off um, on oh, two k's from the end of special stage two, um, just went off over a bank, fortunately we were pulled out by, the, um, uh, by another competitor and um, we were able to carry on on the stage, all the main is recording long stage time, came into service, did a crack service, tried to jump up back to where we were and as we are pulling out of service just this, just this unnerving sound as we were turning as soon as we started to put, um, you know, put some pressure on the steering, um, it felt like the diff was pointing up so yeah, it was, it was sort of a case of jack it up. Um, due to the time we'd lost in stage two, of course, there was a bit of pressure to, to get to the st start of stage three, and you had to make a, a sad uh, decision to temporarily withdraw um, and try to locate the problem. There's no point uh, stuffing a um, stuffing a gearbox or a, or anything else mechanically when it could just be something simple like a bearing or a or a seal or something minor. Stones in the wrong place. Yes, it's just hard to say. So. Um, Virtues of modern rallying, you know, 10 years ago you know, temporary withdrawals weren't really that, that heard of that much, but here, yeah, virtues of modern rallying, temporary withdrawal, rejoin here at Regroup. It's given us over two hours to locate the problem, sort a few other things that we've been fighting with. And didn't come all the way just to do two stages. That's right. Yeah. And how are you, Ben? Yeah, good. <laughs> good. It's been a hell of a day. Did he tell you about the rim in the first stage? No, we, what happened? We finished the first 10 k's the first stage with no tyre. Which one? Um, it was the right, right rear. So we lost the car, uh, lost the rubber about four kilometres from the end. So yeah, did four kilometres on that. You can see by the uh, cracks around it, that, that rim's done and dusted. This has finished its life. But you managed to change it at the end of stage one? Yeah, yeah, did a quick, quick tyre change. Back into service, uh, put some new tyres on the front, and then went into two. So now, um, for the afternoon, with this bit of drizzle that's come over, we've gone down to a 194 Dunlop. So it's a, it's a medium compound. Um, sitting on a set of Oz racing rims there. And uh, let's just see what they do, basically. Although it would have been poetic, the rain that began to set in in the afternoon did nothing to dampen the spirits of Crew 48. Having temporarily withdrawn from the rally to repair the differential, everybody was itching to rejoin after regroup and have the car back on the stages. A special mention must go out to their travelling mechanic Dan Gobble. As the afternoon went on and the rain worsened, Ben and Glenn's confidence soared 
as they set faster and faster stage times. 41st, 40th, 34th and 29th overall. The frustrations of the morning had given way to smiles and banter at stage ends. Ben Brown and Glenn Gordon came to Rally of the North to find adventure and excitement. They came to have fun, competing in a sport they love. When we caught up with them at day's end, Ben, Glenn and Dan were the only ones left in the service park. All three members of Crew 48 embodied the spirit that grassroots rallying demands. After all, they didn't come all this way to finish just one stage. <laughs> 